Okay, in the video before this, we looked at simplifying radicals, or specifically square roots of numbers. Uh, and the key was to find perfect squares that we could factor it into. Well, as we go up to higher roots, the uh, same idea is going to apply, except with the higher roots, we're not going to be looking for squares. We're going to be looking for whatever power uh, that is that the root we're taking is. So, for example, if we did, say, cube root of 40, we would be needing to look at third powers. In other words, start taking your numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, and raising them to the third power. And you get the numbers 1, 8, 27, 64, 125, and then so on and so on, as far up as you would need to go. Um, again, you don't need to memorize this list of powers because you can always come up with them as you're doing them. And so we're looking here for a third power that would go into uh, 40. Okay, And so the thing we're looking for is an 8. 8 goes into 40. Now 4 goes into 40. If we were doing square root of 40, we could use 4. But now we're doing cube root, so we have to use the 8. So we rewrite that as cube root of 8 times cube root of 5. 8 times 5 is 40. And then cube root of 8, we picked 8 because we can actually do the cube root of it. All right, the cube root of 8 is 2, and so then you'd write this down as 2 cube root or third root of 5. The little 3 there is very important. If you don't write the 3, then it looks like you're saying the answer is 2 square root of 5, which is a very different uh, problem, which is a very different problem. So you're really important to keep that little number there. Let's consider another example with a cube root. Uh, cube root of 256. Now as you start going through your list of factors, you'll actually find that 8 works. But if you go a little bit further up the list, so does 64. Since 64 is bigger, that means we'll have less steps that we'll have to do. And so 64 goes into 256 four times. And so we can rewrite that as cube root of 64 times cube root of 4. And then we have to do the cube root of 64. Cube root of 64 would be 4. And so our answer then, cube root of 4, we cannot simplify cube root of 4. None of those numbers in that list will go into 4, well, except for 1, but uh, rewriting it as 1 times 4 doesn't really do you any good. And so our answer is 4 times the cube root of 4. Okay. In this example, we have a fourth root now. So for fourth roots, you need to start looking at perfect fourth powers. So yes, with these bigger roots, we're going to be looking at different powers. The good news is, the things you have to look for are a lot less. If you start looking at perfect fourth powers, 2 to the fourth is 16. Uh, a quick check tells you 16 doesn't go into 162, so that's off the list. The next fourth power you come to is 3 to the fourth, which is 81. Uh, 81 turns out to be the number we're looking for. 81 goes into 162 evenly. So we can rewrite that as 4th root of 81 times the 4th root of 2. Okay, be really careful with that 4. 4th four, root of 2, you can't cancel the 4 and the 2. All right, this is a root. It doesn't behave the same way as division. But what we can do is the 4th root of 81, which is 3, and then we have 4th root of 2. And that's all the further we can go because no perfect fourth powers go into two other than one. Uh, one more example here in this video. This is the fifth root of 160. So now we're looking at perfect fifth powers. Now the first perfect fifth power that's going to be of interest would be 2 to the fifth. That happens to be 32. If you check, 32 does go into 160. 32 goes into 160. Uh, 5 times, so we can rewrite that as 5th root of 32 times the 5th root of 5. Okay, And then we simplify. 5th root of 32 we can do. 5th root of 32 is 2. And then 5th root of 5 will be left over. So it would be 2 and the 5th root of 5. Okay, So this uh, concludes our discussion of uh, simplifying radicals of numbers. Uh, in an upcoming video, in the upcoming videos, we're going to start to look at uh, what happens when we're taking roots of variables that are raised to different powers.
And so until then.